हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज माधव पालीवाल रोल नंबर आई डी टू के नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सेवन आवर टॉपिक इज आर्डविनो सो बेसिकली व्हाट इज आर्डविनो एन आर्डविनो इज एन ओपन सोर्स प्रोग्रामेबल सर्किट पोर्ट दैट कैन बी इंटीग्रेटेड इनटू अ वैरायटी ऑफ मेकर स्पेस प्रोजेक्ट्स बहुत सिंपल एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स This board contains a microcontroller which is able to be programmed to sense and control objects in the physical world by responding to sensors and inputs. The Arduino is able to interact with a large array of outputs such as LEDs, motors and displays. Because of its flexibility and low cost, Arduino has become a very powerful popular choice for makers and maker spaces. looking to create interactive hardware projects <clears throat> history of arduino arduino was introduced back in 2005 in intly by massimo banzi as a way for non engineers to have access to a low cost simple tool for creating hardware projects since the board is an open source it is released under a creative commons license which allows anyone to produce their own board if you search the web you will find there are hundreds of arduino compatible clones and variations available but the only official board save arduino in its name the types of boards the boards with the name arduino on them are the official boards but there are also a lot of really great clones on the market as well one of the best reason to buy a clone is that fact they are generally less expensive than their original official counterpart either fruit and spark fun for example cell variation of the arduino board which cost less but still have the same quality of the originals Arduino Uno One of the most popular Arduino boards out there is an Arduino Uno while it was not actually the first board to be released it remains to be the most actively used and most widely documented on the market because of its extreme popularity the Arduino Uno has a ton of project tutorials and forums around the web that can help you to get started or run out of jam Arduino power supply the Arduino Uno needs a power source in order for it to operate and can be powered in a variety of ways you can do what most people do and connect the board directly to your computer via a usb cable if you want your project to be mobile consider using a 9 volt battery pack to give it juice the last method would be to use 9 volt ac power supply how to program arduino once the circuit has been created on the breadboard you will need to upload the program also known as sketch to the arduino the sketch is a set of instruction that tells the board what function it needs to perform and arduino board can only hold and perform one sketch at a time the software used to create arduino sketch is called the ide which stands for integrated development environment <clears throat> here are some arduino projects which are capable of which are truly amazing and this board and its capability of this Arduino light following robot Arduino drone that follows you LED cube w slash Arduino you know controller a uh, door lock using Arduino bluetooth Arduino shields if you want to add a very specific functionality to your Arduino you will need to use a shield Arduino shield plug into the top of the Arduino board and can add capabilities such as wifi bluetooth gps and much more there are literally hundreds of shields to use choose from here are a few examples wifi shields lcd shields gps lodger shield mp3 music maker shield ethernet shield motor stepper servo shield arduino sensors if you want to use arduino to sense the world around it you will need to add a sensor there are a wide range of sensors to choose from and they each can have a specific purpose below you will find some of the most commonly used sensor projects distance ranging sensor pir motion sensor a light sensor degree of flux sensor <coughs> pressure sensor proximity sensor acceleration sensor sound detecting sensor rgb and gesture sensor humidity and temperature sensor so these are the arduino sensors thank you